goes there? I am Adam, Prince of Eternia. We want to speak with Baron Grodd. Immediately! The Baron is on the practice range, Your Highness. If you'll wait, I'll send someone for him. Don't bother, we'll go ourselves. Where is it? That way. Target! Let's have three this time. Pretty good shooting. Who are you? I am Prince Adam. And this is Tila, Captain of the Royal Guard, and my friend and companion, Cringer. Your Highness, forgive me for not recognizing you. I haven't been to the Royal Palace in a long time. Baron, we want to talk to you about a very important matter. Of course. But let's go inside where we can be more comfortable. Growler, come. <laughs> Cringer! Your pet is not very brave, is he? I built mine to fear nothing. Well, he has his moments. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Will you get down? You're embarrassing me. I'd rather be embarrassed than you. Hmm? A shame. Such a good-looking beast. <laughs> well, shall we go? Just lead the way. At least he thinks you look good, Cringer. <laughs> he probably wants to make me into a cult. My trophies. I caught each animal myself. Magnificent, aren't they? Disgusting is more like it. All these poor animals. Control yourself. They, uh, yeah, they look almost alive. They are. I put them in a state of paralysis when I catch them. It preserves their natural beauty better. That monster! How can he be so cruel? Now, what is it you wish to speak about? Well, we understand you're about to hunt down a unicorn. Quite true. It will be my greatest hunt ever. Do you know that it's the last unicorn on Eternia? Of course. That's why it's such a valuable catch. No huntsman on this world can boast such a trophy. But the unicorn has a right to live, especially since it's the last of its kind. But it will live. In fact, it will live forever, just as all my trophies do. And I mean to have it. You can't reason with a villain like him, Adam. Calm down, Tila. You won't call off this hunt? That's correct. Well, in that case, I have no choice but to ask the king for a royal order against it. As much as I respect the royal family, you have no right to meddle in my affairs. And you have no right to hunt down the last unicorn for your own selfish pleasure. As I'm sure my father will agree. Goodbye, Baron. You sure told him, Adam. Good for you. Way to go, pal. Now wait, come back. You can't do this. We've got to get back to the palace immediately. Baron Grodd to Gamrak. Come in, Gamrak. Gamrak, this is Baron Grodd calling. Answer, you stupid ogre. Gamrak hears you, Grodd. Speak. A wind raider has just left my castle, heading south. I want you to bring it down and take the passengers prisoner. Who are the passengers? Prince Adam and Tila, captain of the Royal Guard. Mm, very important people. A lot of risk. I'll pay well, as I always do. Of course, if you're afraid... I am chieftain of the ogres of the Mystic Mountains. I fear nothing. But the pay must be double this time. Agreed. But no one must know I'm involved, and I don't want them harmed, only held for a while. It will be as you say. So much for the high and mighty Prince of Eternia. <laughs> the tractor beam. Hey, take it easy. It wasn't me. Something's locked onto us. It's a tractor beam, and it's pulling us down. 
I'll give it full power. Maybe we can break loose. It's no good. That beam's too powerful. We're going to crash. Crash? You mean into the good ground? We'll have to jump for it. 